Hey, what's up, you wonderful frag heads? Okay, listen, I got something today for twice in a row has completely blown me away. Okay, I have to tell you guys about this, so stay tuned, stay right there, because you're going to know exactly what's up. It's your boy DB, and I'm about to take you behind the nonsense, baby. So, what we are going to talk about is a new release from Rocha's La Home. Okay? I want you guys to think of this, this, and I got my <clears throat> Aventus over there. Imagine the best of all three of those put together at half the price if not probably a third of the price okay and that's what you get from Rocha's loan okay I'm digging this man I, I'm I'm really digging this so what I get from this is the uh, the pepperiness of Hashivat okay Except a little bit more peppery. Step that pepper up a little bit. Hit that with how Elysium beams the uh, fruitiness and the pineapple of Aventus. That's what you get in this fragrance, okay? <clears throat> it's an eight-hour fragrance, okay? I'm just going to tell you straight off the dot. It's eight hours. I got eight hours out of it, and I sweat today. I got eight hours out of this, dude. This is my first Rochas I've ever um, tried. I have some few in there that are decants that I've never even put on. But I knew this was a new release, so I had to get this review out. I don't like Hashibot, but I like the spiciness of Hashibot. I don't like Elysium, but I love the super fruitiness of Elysium. I'm not a huge Aventus fan, but I love the pineapple fruity smell in it. And when you get all three of those together, you finally get something that's like in your face, bam. It gave me two hours projection, eight hours all together. I am not complaining. I don't hype things up too much, but just imagine, and I'm not comparing this to Aventus. I'm just trying to give you a, um, a matter of fact, let's just go to Club Dean the Wheat Intense Man or an Arm Off uh, Supremacy Silver. Imagine that hit with a dark pepper note, something that you can wear that's like those two that I mentioned with that fruitiness but it's something you can wear in the fall and in the winter now i'm just going to tell you now it was about 65 degrees here today <clears throat> if this was a if i wore this in a 90 degree day it would be banging because i think it's more of a freshy than anything but that pepper gives it that darkness that can definitely be worn in a fall i don't know if it will do that much projection in the winter but this is fall-like weather we're having here, and I absolutely love it. Um, I, 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 can't, I can't describe to you guys anymore that if DB says he loves it, this is a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Matter of fact, I'm going 9.7 out of 10. I mean, this, this, this is like everything you want. You get the fruitiness, because I know a lot of people like that. Aventus-like feeling, and I'm only comparing it to the pineapple because that's what you get in this. It's got a blood orange in there too. That's where you get into that um, that uh, Hashivat and Elysium uh, area. Uh, Hashivat with the pepper, Elysium with the fruitiness, and Aventus with the pineapple. That's that's it. And I'm telling you, it goes on strong like pepper. That's the first thing you get. It's a little tiny fruity blast, but you catch that dark peppery ness to it i think it has tonka bean maybe in it i'm not sure guys i apologize i'll put the notes up here I, I haven't been doing that lately but i'll put them up here um and i just it it, it hits you with that pepper but here's the thing though with elysium you're going to get the fruitiness right off the top with hashibat you get the pepper off the top so imagine getting a ton of pepper with a little bit of fruitiness so you're, you're getting the hashibat and then it kind of uh, after an hour goes into Elysium and then all of a sudden the pineapple after two hours when things dry down You normally ain't supposed to have the fruit But this dried down and all the fruit started kicking in which is the pineapple 
the blood orange, I think, may have progressed that a little bit. That's where a little bit of that darkness comes from as well. But this is just an all-around hit, man. I mean, I, I can't describe. Uh, I'm getting a full bottle of it. That's how I'm going to describe it. DB's going to just go ahead and get a full bottle of it. So, hey, if you want something that matches all three of, uh, of the ones that I mentioned, again, I'll repeat it again. It's a Hashibot Elysium and um, Club D in the Wheat Intense Man. So we'll stay away from the Aventus cliches. Um, and that's what you're going to get, man. Um, just don't get the Lemon Pledge. You don't get that smell at all. It, 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 the fruitiness. I just don't like keep comparing things to Aventus people get on me. DB, why has everything got to compare to Aventus? Didn't say it smelled like it. It has that nice, beautiful pineapple. So, listen. Get it. Don't hesitate. Period. Okay? It's your boy DB. I just took you behind the nonsense. Have a good evening.